Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. My name is Laura and in today's video I'm going to be cleaning our anti-air wrap shark cordless vacuum. As you can see it's not been cleaned for quite some time, ages actually, so it's quite in desperate need of a clean so I'll show you how we do it. So I've got a selection of brushes that I may need to use. So I've got a big scrubbing brush, I've got a smaller one, I've got a paint brush, and then I've got kind of like a harder, thinner scrubbing brush. I've got a cloth that I may need to use, and then I'm going to fill the sink with just some Fabulosa. It's antibacterial, and I'm just gonna use a capful or two, fill up the sink, and then we can use that obviously to clean out the bits that need it. One other thing I am going to need to open the screws on the bottom of the vacuum is a butter knife or whatever you've got really to hand that, that would fit, but I'm just going to use this. There's just a button at the back here that you press in and that will allow you to take it off once you've obviously pressed it. And then I'm just going to push this lever here, which will open it up and empty it all into the bin. And then just give it a bash. And that's now ready to wash, which is pretty grubby. So the next thing is to take off the tank. And I'm just gonna press this button here, which will detach this. So here we go, push that in, and away it comes. So I'm just gonna pop this onto the towel that I've put down, just obviously to catch any dust and dirt and things. So the next thing to do is to remove the filters, and there's two, so there's the first one, and there's the second one, as you can see, they are really dusty and grimy, so I'm going to take those out. And yeah, there's a lot going on in there. So these are the pre-motor filters, and you're not actually meant to use any detergent on these, just warm water. This tank, we're going to pop it in the sink and give it a real good scrub in the antibacterial water. This thin brush is handy for getting sort of down the sides because it's quite difficult to get in. Wow, that is brown. So that's all clean. Um, there is some bits on here that you can't actually get to because they are sort of behind things. And so that is as clean as we're going to get that, but that's absolutely fine. I'm just going to leave it on this towel now to air dry and get on with the next bit. I've got one more filter to remove on this part of the hoover, and that's the post motor filter. So I'm just going to get on and do that. So this bit here, we're just going to pull on it. And it just comes off like this. So that's not actually too bad. And again, this is water only. So I'm just going to run this under the warm tap. It and go look and see the colour shining through with the dirt. So then if you just do that and leave them to air dry, um, they say 24 hours, but if not, maybe overnight, just so that it's, you know, got plenty of time. That's quite satisfying. Oh, wow. <laughs> that is a dirty one. Gradually brighter. It's not it's not seen that colour in a good few months, so Look at that. You just get the brush for this one, just for these little bits. Thank you. 
So on to the next bit. This is probably my least favorite bit because it's always so, so dirty. And this is particularly filthy. So we're gonna get on and clean this bit. So I'll show you how we do it. The first thing on this is I'm gonna remove the pipe from the head. So we just push this button and take it off. There we go. And then onto the dirty bit. So this is where you're going to need your tool. Just pop them into there and turn each one. It does tell you on here where to turn it anyway. There we go. And the last one. Now this, and I'm quite embarrassed to show you this, but I'm gonna show you anyway because I'm not the only one, surely, that leaves the hoover too long. <laughs> it's really quite bad, isn't it? But yeah, there we go, that's my hoover. Shameful, and I'm just gonna wash it in the um, detergent. I've, I've filled the sink again. I might actually empty this into the bin. <laughs> my husband's filming and he's highly embarrassed by this. <laughs> but this is real life, so I'm just gonna pop this into the bin. Oh, it's gross. First, oh my goodness. There we go, just pull that off. And then, you can probably hear my kids in the background laughing as well. So you can remove the wheels if you get your tool and push down one side and then onto the other. They just come out and then you can obviously detangle them and give them a wash. So then just to pop them back in, you can just put them in place and give them a push. So I'm just going to pop this into the sink. There we go. I'm just going to get this front roller off now and there's a red button here that you just pull forward and that will pop off. So I'm just going to do that. There we go. And I'm going to pop that in the sink as well. This is the next bit to clean and you can't actually remove this so it makes it quite difficult. So I'm just going to clean the best I can around here and then I'm going to show you how to clean the window on the back which is quite tricky. So I'm just twisting it into the bin so that any sort of debris drops off straight into the bin. And then you can actually use some scissors for anything that's sort of wrapped around this. You can maybe cut across with some scissors. But because this is the anti-hair wrap model, it never gets too bad. So I don't think we need to use any scissors on there. That's not bad at all really. So let's clean it. So I'm just gonna get my cloth now and give it a good clean. So I'm just gonna use this really thin cloth to send through the roller, pull it through so that we can clean this window which always looks disgusting and hopefully that'll clean that up so that it's nice and clear and obviously you can see through it again. So I've cut this cloth roughly to the width of the roller and now I'm just going to feed it through so if you just sort of lay it on the roller, tuck it in a little bit and start to turn, it should take it through and then we can kind of pull it through like this and hopefully on the other side that's cleaning it so I'll just show you so there we go it's in there look and I'm hoping that it'll get at least some of this but we'll see so it has got a little bit look so let's have a look yeah it's a little bit cleaner so, as you can see, the window's not fully clean yet because we did find that the blue cloth wasn't quite thick enough. Um, I mean, you probably could do it, but you may need to try a few times. So we're gonna switch to this one. It is filthy already because it's been through once. We just wanted to check to see if it was sort of not too thick and it wouldn't get stuck. But it seems to be working, so I'm gonna send this through a few times and hopefully all this window will look a bit cleaner.
also just so that you know you need to send it in sort of from the bottom because there are some spikes on the inside which are for the anti air wrap which obviously it will catch on so you need to make sure that you are turn you need you're pulling the roller towards you sort of down so i've been through about three times and it's really not too bad now but i need to clean the outside so hopefully that'll get a little bit more clean but it's instantly looking a lot brighter So I've just got these last two pieces to clean and then we are pretty much ready. We're just gonna let it dry and then I'll sort of reassemble it once it's ready. So I'm just gonna get this brush for anything in between, but to be honest, the water, it's just soaked in the water for probably five minutes. That's taken off most of it. It's a little bit there, look. So that's everything layout on the towel drying, which I'm just going to leave for probably overnight, 24 hours it does suggest. And everything seems to have come up really well. So hopefully it'll dry nicely and then I will be able to put it back together. So it's the next day now and I'm just going to put it all back together. So I'll show you how I do it. So I'm first of all going to start with the foot and I'm going to put the roller back in. So just put the one side in first of all and then push the other side down. And that'll just click into place so that's now on so i'm just going to pop this bit in so we'll start with the sort of prongs at the top pop them in and then push the bottom in like that and then i'm going to turn these until they click and this one and that one so that's that done now you will see that this is not come as clean as I would like but this is quite old now I feel if you did spend quite a lot of time popping the um, cloth through that that would come up really well so I'm now going to pop this bit back together so I'm going to get this filter here and that literally just pops back in so the next thing is to put the tank filters back together so I've got two here and if you look at this one, it does actually show you which order they need to go in. So obviously pay attention to that. So the first one that's going to go in is the thicker one. And just push it in like this. And then the thinner one will go on top. So now I'm just going to put the tank back on and literally pop the bottom bit in first and push and click it into place. And that's all done. And then the last thing is just this piece that needs to go on. That goes onto your foot and you just push it on like this. And then I'm just going to take this down here, lift that up. And then this, this part of the hoover just attaches like so. And then I just pop it in this position to go in the cupboard and there we go, all clean, looking much better. As I say, this hoover is quite old, actually we've had this quite a few years, but it's much, much cleaner than it was.